<laughs> hey there, internet fans. Ryan Perry here. It is Wednesday, February 10th. Therefore, it is Social Media Wednesday. And uh, this is the second week, Sarah, with uh, Prevaro Marketing and I are testing out Blab to do our weekly uh, episodes of Social Media Wednesday. And it's been interesting, to say the least. There's definitely a learning curve. And I think um, Blab is still in beta reason or in beta for a reason. So, um, but we're going to see it through. I want to do this for at least a month, maybe two months, see what happens. Uh, see if we can build an audience here and all that type of fun stuff. Uh, speaking of building audiences, you want to talk about five different ways to kind of, I guess, find content for social media? Find trending topics. So this can also go across the board of if you're doing blog articles or videos. Uh, but since we primarily talk about social media, it's a way for you to find trending topics that your audience finds interesting. And so you can gear your social media content strategy around that. So we, we're just talking about relevant content then, what's relevant now, trending, those type of things. Right, yep, yep. So, because that's one of the biggest problems that, and hurdles for business owners is they don't know what to post, they don't know where to find it, they, don't, they, get, they feel like it's a daunting task to find enough content to post on social media on a regular basis. So this is an opportunity or th these are tips for them to kind of help make that a less of a daunting task. And it is daunting because I do it for my own business and it's like every day, all right, I got to find new content for Twitter, new content for Facebook, my own video blogs. We got to do contents for our weekly show. So yeah, content is, is a big thing. Uh, we've got five tips today. So why don't we just jump right in with tip number one? So tip number one is Twitter. Twitter easily tells you what's trending. Uh, but you can also do, you can search by hashtags. You can, there's a lot, it's just Facebook or Facebook, Twitter has a really good search function. So you can get a list of current trends, see if any of those are relevant to your business and your audience. You can do searches by hashtag, seeing what people are, are posting with that hashtag. So it's a good way to get some, uh, some basic research done. Uh, but Twitter, not everybody's on Twitter. And so, and you also, it requires you to log in to be in there to actively do it. There, Google Trends is the other one that, that we like to use is, because Google provides so much analytics, they, they know what's, what people are doing searches for. And so through Google Trends, you can find some, some good options for your business. You can do a search. Uh, you can also do it by county, by state. So you can narrow it down to your geographic market and find out what's what's trending, what's popular, what's important to the people in your area. That's especially important for local businesses. Okay, now uh, with Google Trends though, don't you typically need to put keywords in that you're actually searching for, that you wanna find what's currently trending? Right, so if you found some stuff on Twitter and you think, and you wanna dig more into that, you can take that keyword or topic and put it into Google Trends and see if that's trending in your area. So this is a way for local businesses to go, okay, well, the global world on Twitter thinks this is kind of an important topic. Now does my local area think it's important as well? And it'll help you figure out if you can eliminate that or if it should be added to your content strategy. Okay, perfect. Uh, social mention is a, is a new tool to me. I don't know how long they've been around. Uh, but it has a lot of analysis on a lot, large amount of websites. And so it goes through, you can put queries, you can see about influencers uh, in your area, people who regularly post on, on social networks on the topic that you're looking at, and you can get some different data from it. Uh, and you can, again, though, you have to start with a keyword phrase. So you've got to have some information, plug that in, and it gives you across different platforms, primarily Facebook and Twitter, and it gives gives you data of if that's trending or not. And so it doesn't have a geolocal component of it, but you can at least see on a couple different platforms if something that you thought about is a relevant phrase or topic for you to use. Right. Um, so I haven't used that one a ton, but it is something, it's a free tool online and you can just type in the phrase. And so, you know, more data doesn't always hurt. And so if you check out the topic that you're trying to research on a couple different places, then it can be 
it can't hurt you. You, you don't want to go down the rabbit hole too far of data. If something, you know, if, if you've seen it a couple places that it is not, it's not a, a relevant topic, just drop it and move on. Uh, but you, you can see if the influencers in your industry are in it. You can, you can see if it's on Facebook and Twitter, which platform is more important to your users and see, you know, so if your users are, are on Facebook more, you're on Facebook more. And the phrase that you're searching is more popular on Facebook, then it's probably a good one for you to consider. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one I haven't used at all. It's, I actually just learned about it in doing my research for for today's talk. It's called Keyhole, and you can track hashtags across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're familiar with Google Alerts, it works the same way. So Google Alerts, for those of you that don't know, is you can plug in a, a specific phrase, and whenever that phrase has an article written or mentioned on the internet, Google will email you the list of uh, links to those articles, blog articles, mentions. And so it operates the same way, but it's on hashtags. And this is really relevant. Twitter operates on hashtags. People do searches on hashtags. Instagram operates the same way. Hashtags aren't quite as popular and useful in Facebook because the people just haven't adopted it. But this is really useful when you're putting Instagrams on Facebook and Twitter or if you're putting hashtags on on Instagram and Twitter, oh, I'm getting them all mixed up at this point, uh, you don't know if they're working or not. So this is a really cool tool that I'm definitely gonna dig into. Again, it's called Keyhole, and it's a great way to see how many people are using it. Is it a popular hashtag? And there's another tool that, I, that we were gonna talk about that will give you even more data on, is that hashtag working for you? So you can use Keyhole to find hashtags that might be relevant for you. And then another tool that we're about to get to that and see if that, that actually works for you. And so you're connecting all these dots on your data to streamline and improve your social media strategy. Okay. okay. Yeah, and there's, there's another one if you're looking for um, trending context, and I'm just going to throw it in as ha hashtagify.me. I think it's .me. Yeah, hashtagify.me. It's a really cool tool. I know it's not on our top five list here, um, but just as we were talking, I thought about it because I ran into it a couple of weeks ago, and it's really interesting. The One of the things I like about it is that um, similar to um, Answer the Public, which will give you content ideas where you put in a keyword into Answer the Public, and then it gives you all the little uh, surrounding topics of conversation that are around that keyword, you can do the same thing with, with hashtagify.me and you can put a hashtag in and then it'll pop up all the relevant hashtags that are popping up around it. Um, but the other cool thing is it'll also let you know who, who is uh, an influencer around that hashtag. So that's one of the things we've talked about in the past is that you want to gain visibility. You want to be in the space of other influencers. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag cat. <laughs> the silly um, kitty boo. <laughs> <laughs> we have to start coming to the office for these. There you go. Well, I'm in the office. I know, I know. Um, That's why I do it here, so we don't talk over each other. <laughs> <in balls. laughs> uh, but it's really cool because you can go in the hashtagify, pop it in, but it'll give you additional content ideas. And from there, you can run that through, you know, the five tips that we're talking about here. And, and in, like you said earlier, you don't want to get too deep into uh, data sometimes. Otherwise, you can spend all day in data. Right, right. So I'm reading, I'm reading the comments on here. <laughs> yeah, from that. CM79. He's yeah, our one yeah. viewer. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that would be terrible if I was talking to myself. Um. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that you ever do. No, no, never, never. Uh, so, but anyway, yeah, the data, you definitely want to pay attention to data. We talked about that. If you were following us over on the Hangouts and transferred with us over here, data is your friend in social media. You don't need to get too, for those of you that hate numbers, you don't have to get too buried in the data, but you do need to follow some data so that you can, so you know if it's working or not, because if you're not checking your numbers, that you're just wasting your time. Right. And so I think that was four. So the fifth tool, and this one was actually surprising me. I've always, I've been trying to find, and I, I have unsuccessfully found it, and it could just be it's there and I haven't found it. There are no really good 
free Instagram analytic tools. It's they're always they're buried under like Icona Square is a paid account. Um, and Instagram, I know it's there because Facebook owns them, but they're, it's not rolled out to the general public. So the normal small business owner does not have access to the to the to the analytics. And so in my research, I discovered that Sprout Social, who I haven't looked at in a while, they have Instagram analytics built in to their account. And so you can see what hashtags are, people are interacting with you, how they got to you through which hashtag search. And so, because Instagram, one of the things, Pete, they recommend, you know, 12, like around 12 to 15 hashtags per post. And so you never really know which one is quite working for you if you're putting a whole bunch of hashtags in there. And so Sprout Social is something I think I'm going to dig into a little bit more where you can see which hashtag garnered the likes and interaction on your post. And so you can streamline and update the ones that you're using. And so that was a really interesting tool that I thought would be useful in, in this kind of data and trending topics is to see, okay, you've done all this research to start using hashtags and topics. Now here's the end result data, especially specifically for Instagram, because Twitter has analytics built in as long as you turn it on. Facebook has analytics for your page. And so this is a way to see on Instagram if all the research you did, if it's actually working for you. So again, you can tweak it and continually tweak it so it's more efficient. Yeah, you know, I just did a post. Uh, I'll have to find how I see if I can find it here because I know we're running out of time. Um, on uh, my one minute marketing tips on YouTube, and it was there is a website, same thing, it's paid, but you put in it'll actually you link it to your Twitter account, it'll actually pull in your Twitter feed and it'll analyze your individual tweets looking for hashtags. And if you are hashtagging, it'll let you know how popular that hashtag is. So it has like three different colors, if it's overused, if it's trending, if it's irre ir irrelevant. Um, and then, but it'll also give you some other suggestions on how you can improve your tweet itself. It'll, so it's, it's, it's like doing a, an SEO analyzing your website, but it's actually doing it for your Twitter feed and it's really cool. And I cannot think of uh, what it is. I'll have to dig through and uh, I'll have to post it. When we when I push this to YouTube, I'll have to push that link in, in there because it's a really cool tool. Unfortunately, it is a paid one though. Uh, yeah, and that that's kind of the problem. Like the better, that is the issue we're gonna come across is the better analytics that digs into things more, they are unfortunately almost always going to be paid options. So as a sm for small business owners, we know you're on a limited budget is you have to see what's the most important of what you need to pay for. Like Sprout Social also allows you to post, but it's $60 a month per user for up to 10, plat to, to up to 10 profiles. So whereas you have Hootsuite is $10 if you need some auto posting help. And so you really need to look at use what you can for free. And then if you absolutely need to pay for something, then you can. You can also do, a, a sh almost all of them have free trials. So if you just wanted to get a short glimpse, you've got seven, 14, 30 day trials, it, it differs on every software, but do a free trial to just see, you know, so you can get that data for a short period of time and then not pay for it at this moment. Uh, and then go back to them when you've got the budget to pay for it and have more analytics. It'll at least give you a snapshot of, of what's going on. All right. Okay, perfect. Uh, tell you what, our uh, time is up for today's show, but let's go over those five tips, five different places that you can check out uh, to kind of find additional content that's trending for your social media. Sorry. After, I'm, after you're done typing, of course. This is weird. Like I can't multitask like this very well. <laughs> Girl, you're supposed to be able to multitask. That's the, <laughs> that's the whole part. I know. And that's, I have to work on, you know, multitasking is actually not a really, really good skill. People who say they're good <laughs> at it is, is actually bad. They're lying. All right. Let's, um, five tips. Go ahead. Talk and type, talk and type. Uh, okay. Top Pressure's five on. was Twitter, Google trends, social mention, keyhole and sprout social. And Keyhole are, are each one of those websites. It's actually Keyhole.com. Let's see. Yeah, Keyhole.co. So Keyhole.co. 
Uh, social mention is socialmention.com. And then just Google, Google Trends. You should know what Twitter is. And Sprout Social is, I'm pretty sure it's sproutsocial.com. Sprout Social, yeah. And then the other one that I brought up was going to be Answer the Public, uh, which is answerthepublic.com. Really cool uh, keyword tool. Um, and then the other one was uh, hashtagify.me. It's kind of like Answer the Public, but specifically for hashtags. So you can find trending hashtags and you can also find out who is the who's really talking about that hashtag. So who's the thought leader essentially because they're they're using that hashtag a lot. And then uh, CM, uh, CMF79 also mentioned wikimindmap.org, which I haven't looked at yet, but I will after the show. So we gave you, I think, close to 10 different uh, websites to check out that will uh, help give you the information that you need. Because what we talked about when we originally started the show is that, you know, it's really hard to find content or to come up with content ideas. And uh, if you know what it is that you want to talk about, going out and doing some research with these other tools are going to be great because they're going to give you other ideas, other keywords that are relevant to your primary keyword uh, that you can talk about. So right. any, and any closing statements there, Sarah? Nope. I would just say, you know, don't feel overwhelmed. Just take it one step at a time. That's always our theme through this is pick one thing and, and do that. You don't need to look at all 10, just do what you can manage and bring it down to bite-sized chunks and you'll be able to handle it. Right. All right. Perfect. Yeah. It's all about layers, all about layers. Yeah. Just add a little bit of layer each time. Uh, that's it for today's show. We're going to be back here. Same computer, same screen. 9.45 next Wednesday for another social media Wednesday blab. Uh, this is new for us. So those of you that are following uh, CMF79, uh, thank you very much for your input. We hope to see you here again next week. Take care.